Hey guys, Jen here. I am super excited for this video. Uh, I am testing out the new mold Eric made. And he said I had to test it before I could put it on the website for sale. So it's a sliding bottom mold. And I wanted to show it to you guys before I line it. Um, here is the bottom. And you can see the little screws on the side here. This is the tall skinny version and I'm going to take it apart so I can show you guys how it works and then I'm going to line it. I think I've showed it in a video before but that's how it works. Really really easy. Um, I am going to line it really quickly. I actually have a new video I want to do on lining um, molds and hopefully to keep it from uh, leaking. So I've got my liner here. Um, I'm, this, I'm testing it out today, this one. Um, I'm restocking my oatmeal milk and honey soap. So, I'm going to pause you guys, get some tape for the sides. Uh, I have everything ready to go, um, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I'll talk a little bit about this soap while my lye water is mi getting mixed up because I've got my silk in it. I always mix it for you know, 30, 45 seconds to make sure my silk is dissolved well. So, I'll bring all my ingredients out here for you. Um, I've never really went in depth on how I like to do my oatmeal milk and honey soap. So, um, I have my heart oils and my liquid oils and inside my liquid oils is two tablespoons of kale and clay, two tablespoons of colloidal oatmeal. And then I get my little coffee grinder. I fill it with whatever fits in it with regular oatmeal, not instant, just regular oatmeal, and I grind it up. And then, hold on guys, let me get this in here. Okay. And then um, I like to I normally do um, about 5% of my liquid in um, a milk of sorts on all my normal soaps is what I'm trying to say. For my oatmeal soaps, I like to double that amount. Um, so I'm using a reduced lye water solution and I have twice the amount of milk that I normally use. And then I, of course, have my honey. Now, my honey, I only use, um, there is about three teaspoons in there. Not tablespoons, just teaspoons of honey. You'll have to keep in mind, when working with sugar, that is in milk, that is in honey, um, that it can cause your soap to heat up and uh, overheat. So, my oatmeal soaps is ones that I really keep a close eye on and um, make sure that it doesn't overheat. I never cover it. I don't put it in the oven. Uh, and most of the times I turn, I put it on my kitchen table and I turn the ceiling fan on. And then I also have my fragrance. So, this is what all goes, and I just use oatmeal milk and honey from Bee Scented, obviously. This is what all goes in my oatmeal soap. <clears throat> It is wonderful. I do no colorants. Uh, it's a very gentle soap. Um, I'm using uh, coconut milk. You can use buttermilk. You can use uh, goat milk. You can use regular whole milk, you know, cow's milk. Um, you can use a combination of the three or four, whatever, um, and, you know, make a multi milk soap. But I had coconut milk on hand. I also have whole milk on hand. But um, I try to keep coconut milk on hand for soaping. So I, I generally always have that. 
So I'm just gonna buzz up the rest of these. I'm super excited for the mold. I'm not sure if I said earlier, but I, yeah, I think I did. That that's the five pound tall skinny, which means it's 16 inches long, two and a half inches wide, and three and a half inches tall. And this, I'm using a 55 ounce recipe with a two to one water lye ratio, which uh, is a reduced water amount. Uh, if you use full water, you may want to back your recipe off a couple of ounces in oil because it will uh, be too much soap. I use 55 ounces and then two to one. And it generally fills it right to the brim on my tall skinnies. So we're just gonna sit this over, put all our liquid oils in. I like to buzz them up just because it helps incorporate some of the additives that's down here. I don't know if you can see on camera, but some of them were stuck to the bottom. So I'm scraping those out to get them all in there. I have also used in the past um, powdered uh, heavy cream. It's also, you can use heavy cream uh, as your liquid. Uh, milk um, or you can just use cream people have asked if you can use half and half you can half and half is just a mixture of heavy cream and whole milk there's nothing wrong with using it so now we're gonna get in our additives I'm gonna pour in my honey now my honey I always pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds and it makes it liquid like this to where I can get it out. Because otherwise, it's very hard to get honey out. I'm not worried with over mixing because um, I'm not doing any designs. Now this is just our regular oatmeal. We'll give it a slight scrubby texture, not much. <laughs> now let's add in our milk. in our fragrance. You can add this all together at one time. You don't have to do them individually. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, there is a color change. And that is the sugars reacting with the lye. <laughs> The soap will end up being a very pretty, nice, caramely color once it's cut and cured. Right now, it will turn a little orangey. And like I said, that's just the sugars in the honey and the milk reacting with the lye. get this poured I broke my um, little release mechanism 
so it's a little difficult to get my stick blender head off. I can, it's just a little hard. All right, guys, we're gonna pour this bad boy, see how it goes. Um, I mean, I know that the pouring will be fine. And I know the mold will be fine. But Eric insisted that I test it. Now, I'm gonna have to let this set up and then I'll, I have just a tiny bit in there. I'll put it on the top and texture the top. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Okay guys, so we're gonna put the rest of this soap on top and after thinking about it, I realized that um, I used like two ounces extra liquid because when I measured out my water, I only needed about 11, uh, 10 ounces of water and when I measured it, it ended up being 12 ounces and I was like, eh, it'll be okay. <laughs> so that's where uh, most of this extra soap comes from. So I use a little bit extra water than I normally would have, but no big deal. I'm gonna get something to swirl it. Um, also, I wanna talk to you guys really quickly and let you know because this will be the first video that I post. Um, the mystery boxes on Be Scented, the gold ones, are 10% off. Now through the end of the month, not long left. Um, but I'm hoping I can get this video up before it's too late. Um, we have less than 15 left. We made extras. And like they're going to be gone before no time flat. Um, yeah, I was like, I was a bit surprised actually because we made a bunch of extra ones and they have sold like mad. This month's mystery boxes are a collection of some of my favorite items that I use. So, hint, hint. really like the little swirl on top. It's very light. I'm, very, I'm using a very gentle hand. Alright guys, I'll bring you back for the cutting. I'm hoping this sets up and I can unmold it this evening and get the video up tonight. Um, so, talk to you later. Bye bye. Hey guys. <clears throat> so, I am here to cut the soap. It has really only been about seven hours since I made this soap, but it feels firm enough that I can take it out of the mold. So I wanted to show you guys unmolding it and we'll see how it does. I'm just going to take the tape off. Okay, so I got our tape released. I'm going to unscrew the end. Yeah, you guys can see. And let's see how this works. I'm gonna put my finger down here on the, so you guys can see, on the back end and hold it and pull the front. Woohoo! And so you see, we've got it out and it should just slide right off. And then there's the bottom of your mold that we'll just put back together here. We'll just slide right back together. All right, guys, we'll see you later. All right, I'm going to keep recording on, Eric was recording on my phone so I could show the Facebook family. Um, but I'm going to keep recording and cut the soap for you guys. Now, like I said, the soap is still warm, but I think I should be able to cut it. Yeah, I think it should be okay to be cut. It's still soft, 
But like I said, it's only been about seven hours. I'm gonna get me some gloves. Give me just a second. I'm gonna, just because it's kind of slick, I'm going to, you guys can see the nice gel. Because, you know, it had a lot of sugars and milks and all that good stuff, so. I'm gonna put this back here. I'm gonna get my cutter down. This is next on our agenda, or Eric's agenda, to get stuff made for you guys. I'm going to cut a little end piece. I'm going to give this bar a cut and then I'll show you guys. Very much a big gel ring. But it will all even out. And it'll end up being about this color that's up top. But it turned out really, really good. I'm not going to cut the whole thing on camera just because every bar is exactly the same. But this will be the last one. You guys can see it turned out really, really good. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.